Drop. I dropped my dabs on the floor. Get back. Welcome to my review of the Emacs Interceptor car. This review is, I don't know if it's sponsored, if you're supposed to say something. They didn't give me any money. I don't ask for any money when I do these reviews. I just ask for these products, for the you know stuff. And people are like, dude, you're stupid. You should ask these companies to give you money if you're like making reviews and you know helping sell their stuff. And to that I say, you're 100% correct. I should be asking for money. I'm stupid for not doing that, but also, Where's your fucking Emacs Interceptor car, motherfucker? Huh? So whatever, I don't really mind doing this shit like for free. I'd like some money, but I'm not gonna dwell on that. I got a sweet ass FPV car, you know, fuck it. One thing I wanna address really quick, actually a couple things I wanna address really quick before we start this video. I'm giving away one of these cars to somebody. If you watched my last video, I said leave a comment on that and do some bullshit and I'll give away one of these cars to you, the entire kit. And one of you is gonna win that, so keep watching and I'll announce the winner. And number two, this is very important. I'm wearing a blue shirt. I don't normally wear anything besides black t-shirts. I'm wearing a blue shirt and I feel really weird. Like everywhere out of my peripheral vision, I just keep seeing blue and it's freaking me out. However, this is an amazing blue shirt. This is a super tech shirt that he did. He did this a while ago. I just haven't worn it for a while. But this is fucking sick. Go, go check out super tech. He also wrote a comic book that's fucking amazing that I got. So this is for the Emacs Interceptor. I told them if they gave me a, they gave me two of these, one for me to keep and play with and one to give away to everybody, I'd do a video. So here's the video, this is my obligation. I'm fulfilling Emacs, here you go. Let's make it a fucking good one, huh? What is this fucking thing? First of all, where'd it go? First of all, in the kit, and this shit's only $100. I was actually surprised to learn this. I thought I'd be a lot more. So for $100, you get this motherfucking car, you get these motherfucking goggles, and you get the radio. So it's everything you need. Thumbnail. There's like get goggles. I think it's supposed to come with two antenna. We'll get into that. Uh, you know, you got all this for hundred bucks. It's a pretty fucking sweet deal. Right off the bat, I think it is a good deal. One hundred dollars to get started in fucking FPV. Let's see what you get for that hundred dollars, huh? Let's go. So I think that's pretty good. You know, we get the whole fucking kit, these goggles you can use later on or let somebody watch you fly with them, the cars, fucking whatever, the radios, fucking whatever. They're, they're cheap stuff, but it's pretty fucking fun, actually. The camera's half decent. I took it to a bando and I let it rip in the bando when I was filming a video the other day. So here's just a little bit of footage for me cruising it around the bando, which was pretty bumpy. That's the thing, man. You're gonna wanna fly. You're gonna wanna fly. Do these fly? You're gonna wanna be driving on some smooth roads because if they're bumpy, your camera's gonna look like shit. You might get sick. But here, here's me ripping around in the bando. Check this out. I use my goggles for that, actually, you know, so I could record the DVR and stuff too. So I, I can't really comment. Here, maybe they should be in the uh, picture. So I can't really comment how good the reception is on these because I've only used them like in the house or whatever. I just use my goggles with the little car. But the screen in here isn't that bad. It, it's not that bad for just a little fucking FPV monitor. And you could probably use it for some other stuff, you know, like, like I said, letting a homie or a passerby or a fucking child that you may own or something, letting them watch you fly or rip the car or do whatever. They have value after that, maybe. I don't know. You know, I tried. I thought hard. I was like, how can I make this fucking video interesting? And I, I was like, I didn't do it. <laughs> I was like, I should just set up some sweet fucking ramps and take it off some jumps and do some shit. Now their whole shit, Emacs' this whole thing, the reason they make this and make the Easy Flyer drone one is because they want to make it easy and accessible for people to get into the hobby. And if this is on the ground, ooh, you know, you get, you're used to FPV being on the ground. You don't have to worry about crashing and shit. And I guess their thought is you would move on to the Easy drone, which they haven't sent me. You can send me one of those so I can do a giveaway, Emacs. So you're gonna transition to that and already be used 
to FPV as a thing, you know, instead of trying to learn how to fly and do FPV at the same time. Is this a good way to start? I don't know, I don't know. If you had a hundred bucks, I, I would honestly just get like a tiny whoop kit or apply that towards a tiny whoop kit and some stuff. You're gonna upgrade no matter what you do, but if you're not sure if you wanna fly quads, I would say, yeah, fucking hundred bucks, dude, get this shit. Like, you know what? If they didn't send me one for free, I probably would've asked for a discount. If they wouldn't have given me a discount, I, I'd spend a hundred dollars on this. Yeah, I don't need the goggles and they actually sell it without the goggles, just the radio in the car for a lot cheaper. Like 60 bucks, I think. I don't fucking know. Yeah, there it is. So, you know, if you're you're watching this, you're probably already an FPV pilot uh, and you're your own goggles or some shit. So just get the fucking car. It's pretty cool. Or, you know, spend that money towards a car, your own just random RC car and FPV. It. But this is a great way, I think, just to get fucking started and shit. Speaking of getting started, uh, I hit my buddy Zach up and I was like, yo, you want to try this fucking car they sent me? He's never done anything FPV. He's done a little bit of VR. He said, he told me, he's like, I've done the VR thing, but he's never done anything FPV. So I, we went to the park a little bit ago and I was like, try this motherfucker out, bro the product in the shot so I was like try this little car out bro just fucking put these gogs on rip it around see if it's fun and here's here's what happened so now I'm out here in this spot uh, you may recognize it as being the field where I test my micros because usually there's not a lot of people there's some grass and it's really fun for micros because they can fly around here the whole thing was like, this is to get people started in FPV. They're like, if you want children, spouses, whatever, in FPV, give them one of these. I have none of those. I got my homie Zach. So Zach's, so Zach's here to try this. Now, Zach, you have never tried FPV goggles, right? Uh, nope. You know that I do like drone shit with goggles, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So he's going to try this for the first time. Now, if I gave him a little drone, it's kind of hard to fly those right off the bat. Might not be able to do it. A car, however, you just fuck. I keep throwing it up there. A car, however, you just fucking press the throttle. You can't. Cr you can crash. We can't crash from the sky into the ground. It's way easier. Let's see if Zach, having no experience ever, can do this. Here we go. All right. I had to angle this camera. He's so fucking tall. I can't put the camera. It's stupid. Okay. Here's the. Uh, here's this part in your hand. It's fucking weird, oh, dude. Weird. Yeah. This is. A, you don't have to be wearing the goggles to oh. to start. Okay. I can just hand you the. Here's the car. Okay. Here's the radio. That goes. That goes backwards. The wheel turns, you know. Um, I'll go ahead and set you down. You got it, you're fucking heat. This is his first time in my video on camera. He's such a natural. Everybody, link below. I want to bang Zach. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> set the car down. You ready for this? Fuck yeah. Do what you do. All right, all right. Do what you do, and ride it around. Turn and that's the turning wheel, yep. Okay, well, I am watching I on my goggles. Yeah, dude, take it away. Oh, shit. See, it's got a little bit of thrust. It's got a little power. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, oh, you might shit. burn out if you like slam throttle down all the way. Is this recording out? Oh, no, don't work in the grass. Or in the grass, let me get you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh yeah, don't crash into the kid. This thing is, ex is explosive. <laughs> oh, he's cool. Oh, shit. You don't give a shit. Uh, you losing video there? Yeah. I'm gonna come back. That's the thing. So yeah, I think there's supposed to be two antennas. Only one came in the package. Am I even in frame? Barely. It doesn't matter. Only one came in the damn package. Uh, yeah, if it starts getting sketchy, you can just come back, whatever. There's that oh. smooth. There's God some smooth. I almost had it. Uh, to your right, there's that smooth road. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, my right. Okay. Uh, yeah, like over there to the left. Basically right where there's... Oh, shit. Nice uh, job. There's that person again. Wait, left. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking shit up even with the little uh, toy I can't car. I see the fucking road. Is this it? Oh, uh, it's behind you. Uh, okay. How okay. bad is, is yours breaking up? I got really uh, good reception. It's okay. But, okay, cool. Yeah, it should be straight. Keep straight in there. Uh, yeah, what do you think? Your first experience. How is this? Uh, it's pretty wild, dude. It's kind of hard to get used to. It's pretty. Uh, is like disorientating. Turns on or? time for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. What do you think about the whole like FP? That looks pretty sick when Ooh, it trans skirt. transitioned to there. Oh shit. Oh, oh you can get out of it. You got it. Hell yeah. All right, hold on. What do you think of like the, the goggle experience in doing it? Uh, it's pretty wild. It's, it's oh, <coughs> God damn it, I keep doing that, my bad. Oh, how much do you have like, with goggles, with the radio, with the car, how much should this whole kit cost? Uh, I'm how only much did you pay for like, fun? I'm only going by like what I know from VR, like video games and shit, and those goggles are expensive, but I imagine this is like, what, a couple hundred, two, three hundred bucks, something like that? Would you believe not 199? Would you believe not that? 150? Would you believe? What? It's like a hundred, it's a hundred bucks. That's legit. 100 bucks out the door in the box. I'm gonna get myself one of these if I can stop fucking. I'm out of breath. Of I have more questions, but I'm out of breath. I'll be right back. <laughs> so, for somebody who's never done anything FPV before, would you recommend this to other people to try? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's a little hard to get used to, but. Uh, first time ever, mind you. First time ever. But you only crashed into the grass a couple times. You have some good runs. Uh, I tight. crashed into the grass quite a few times, but. Uh, All right, whatever. Uh, say you had a spare 100 bucks, you think you'd pick one of these up for fun? Yeah, for sure. All yeah. right, that's, a, that's an endorsement. It's legally binding. You have to sign the contract later. Zach says buy it. Good job, bro.
appreciate that. I think he had fun. It's also really hard to be on camera if you're not warmed up. I didn't give him any time to warm up. I was just like pointing camera in his face and I was like, talk, motherfucker, talk. <laughs> So this thing's pretty sweet. I've actually been standing here in my room with these hot studio lights talking about, oh, cornbread's here. Talking about it so much that I'm thinking about it. I'm like, damn, I wanna go rip it. So let's go out front. Let's go rip this little car out front on the street and see if we can try to avoid getting ran over. What do you think, cornbread? Is that a good idea? She, just, she doesn't fucking look. Let's ride. Well, nigga, you don't know about big waves. You got people to take it to the street. Let's go my hood, my car. So that was really fun. That was actually really fun. That was just like sitting by my car at the fucking front of the house, going up and down the street, trying not to get ran over by cars. That was pretty fucking fun. Anything. I feel like if you were to do this, like, why in a site just normally, you'd be like, uh, cool, I got like a little car. You put fucking goggles on, dude. Anything is fucking fun. FPV, everything. Any Anything can be made fucking funner by FPVing, for real. Even like, where'd it go? It's downstairs. Fuck it. Even, even like this little fucking car, you know what I mean? Like, you, you hit throttle too hard, it'll spin out. You keep throttle managed, like, you know, a little halfway. Fucking little thing scoots right along. It's pretty fun. I feel like this would be awesome if you're out for a day doing FPV stuff. You break all your fucking quads, you're all pissed off. Bust out the little fucking car, you know what I mean? Fuck it. The radio don't take up that much room. The car don't take up any hardly room at all. So I'm definitely going to be bringing mine along when I go fly, when I break every fucking thing else, I'll bust this out and I'll cruise around and have a good day. Leave the day feeling fulfilled like I did something FPV. I don't fucking know. Should you buy this motherfucker? I don't know. It's 100 bucks for the whole thing. I think, like I said, it's only that much for just the car and the fucking uh, radio if you already got your goggles, which most people do. I'd say, yeah, I would personally buy this thing. If you don't want to buy it, maybe you won one. Here's the fucking giveaway part. If you were watching my last video, I said leave a comment and then I'll pick somebody for this video. So for all of you that watched and commented on the last video thank you let's pick the fucking winner now for the z-max kit who's it gonna be it's gonna be congratulations andrew nelson andrew nelson congratulations thank you so much for watching that video and leaving a comment on it to claim your prize email blockgrinder at gmail.com it will be asking for proof so don't try to fuck around and fuck me <laughs> Thank you so much, Emacs, for giving me some free shit to give away and one to play with. If you know a company, or if you are a company and you want me to do a shitty review like this, hit me up at my email or fucking wherever. I don't give a shit. I'll review your fucking shit, and I'll give some of your shit away. And then some shit will happen, and you'll sell some shit, and everybody will have a fucking shit day. Like a shitcock shit storm waiting for its fucking shit roost. I'm going to say shit a lot until this shitty fucking shit ends. Hey. Oh, real quick, I hit 19,000 subscribers, and that is fucking insane to me that I could do that much. Like, mm, we're doing pretty good over here. I'm trying to hit 20,000, if you know what I'm saying. So, why, where'd that voice come from? I'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers, so please do me a favor. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, subscribe. Because I do all kinds of giveaways and shit, and you wouldn't want to miss out on that. Plus, you'd be making my fucking day. I'm just some fucking piece of shit. And for me, able to go, for me to be able to go from nothing, fucking piece of shit, to get to like 20,000 subs in a legit YouTube channel, that's fucking insane. It's a success story. We can all draw inspiration from so let's make that happen super tech fuck the police i'll see you all in the next one i'll give you 20 dollars when we're done chill dude huh?